Dr. McQueely and the Yellow Car Look, a little yellow car is driving along the road. And here are his two friends, two little trucks. Hello, little car, says the blue truck. Come for a picnic with us. Little yellow car is very happy. And the friends drive on together. They take a right turn. The vehicles are driving on a dirt road now. There are puddles and holes. Be careful, everyone. Oh, it looks like the little yellow car is finding it difficult on this road. Don't worry, says the blue truck. Dr. McQueely will help you. She always knows what to do. Meep, meep. And here is the garage. Dr. McQueely is already waiting. Little car, hold on tight. Dr. McQueely raises the platform up to examine you. I see, your ground clearance is too low and you need to change the wheels too. Let's start with them. One, two. Now, let's increase the ground clearance. Front and rear. Great! And now fit bigger wheels with deep tire treads. Little car, here's a gift from Dr. McQueely. A roof rack. A winch with a cable and a tow bar at the rear. You are a real cross-country car now. You can go on a picnic. Have a good trip, little car. Send me a photo. The little yellow car can now drive on any road. And here is the turning. The little car found his friends and all day long they played and talked. And in the evening, they watched the sun go to bed. Dr. McQueely and the racing car. Look, Dr. McQueely is driving a beautiful yellow convertible. Driving is great fun. Oh, why is that car not moving? It looks so sad. Why is that? What's happened? It turns out that it can't participate in the race because it's too slow. Don't be sad, little car. Come to the garage. Dr. McWheely will help you in no time. Welcome. Don't be afraid of anything. Soon you will be able to go faster than anyone. Let's lift you up. Like this. 
first we need to remove all the heavy and unnecessary parts like the wheels they are good for the city but not for racing now the brakes we'll change them for more powerful ones what else the spoiler is too small let's remove it and the mirror is really big for racing and you don't need this thing too almost done don't forget about the engine let's remove the old one well done now we can reassemble the car sports brakes one two lightweight yet strong wheels done but the most important part is the new powerful engine done and now it's time for some fun let's add some small sporty parts they look cool Here is a big spoiler, so our car won't fly like an aeroplane. A mirror. And exhaust pipes. A large one. And a small one. And now a surprise little car. We'll paint you. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Dr. McQueely lowers the platform. Wow! Good luck in the race. Look, the sports cars are all ready on the start line. Ready, set, go! Who will come first? Can it be our friend, little car? Come on, come on. Push the pedal. Finish. You won, little car. You came in first. Hooray. Dr. McQueely did a great job again. She made the fastest. Dr. McQueely goes to London. Look, this is Dr. McQueely. Wake up, Dr. McQueely. It's time to go on a journey. That's right, thought Dr. McQueely. Of course, I'm going on holiday. It's time to get dressed and to pack my suitcase. This is the wardrobe where Dr. McWheely keeps her clothes. She needs to pack at once. Let's take down the suitcase. And now for the clothes. Dark blue overalls. A light blue dress. A blue waistcoat. A scarf. a warm hat and a spare cap 
The suitcase is full. And what about the shoes? Great! Dr. McQueely has a backpack. We can put the shoes in it. Let's begin. Orange shoes. White trainers. Green boots. Skates. Flip flops. And high heels. Everything is packed. It's time to call a taxi. A special app will help to find the nearest available car. Look, here it is. The taxi is in such a hurry to get there that it hasn't noticed the no overtaking sign. No, no taxi, you can't overtake this car. The police car must catch up with the taxi and explain the traffic rules. Listen taxi. This is a no overtaking sign. It means you can't overtake other cars on this part of the road. Is everything clear? Then you can continue. And here is Dr. McQueely's garage. Now Dr. McQueely can go to the airport. is there to see her off. While she's in London, the robot will look after the carriage. Goodbye, Dr. McQueely. Have a lovely trip. Dr. McQueely in London. Look, this is Dr. McQueely. She's looking out of the aeroplane window. The aeroplane has lowered its landing gear, which means it's going to land. And here's the airport. Dr. McQueely has arrived in London. Now she's crossing the road to get on a sightseeing bus. Before you cross the road, you need to look to the left. But oh! Why did this car come from the right? Dr. McQueely did not expect this. Why did it? And then she realised. In most countries, cars drive on the right side of the road. But in England, it's different. There, the vehicles drive on the left side. So before crossing the street, you need to look to the right first to see them coming. The vehicles in England are also different. In most countries, the steering wheel is on the left. But in England, it's mounted on the right side. So is the dashboard. And the pedals too. These are cars that drive in countries with left-hand traffic. Let's remember this. Well, now it's time to find the bus. Oh, look what beautiful red buses they use in England.
They are called double deckers. This double decker has no roof. It'll be great for exploring the city. Exploring new cities is a lot of fun. Look, what buildings can you see here? Please write the ones you know in the comments. Dr. McWheely this is Robot Handy. He is driving to the airport to meet Dr. McQueely. Here it is. Now Handy needs to park the car. Oh no! He's bumped into another car. How awful! Don't worry, Handy. Dr. McQueely is already here. Tell her immediately what happened. Let's see. Hmm. The impact wasn't strong. Both cars are fine. We can go home. All the way Dr. McQueely was thinking how she could help Handy not to bump into anyone. And she came up with an idea. She should install parking sensors on the car. They will measure the distance between Handy's car and any objects around. If Handy gets too close to something, he will hear a noise, which will tell him that he shouldn't go any further. Let's attach parking sensors to the car. The more sensors are installed, the better Parktronic works. Dr. McQueely decided to put eight sensors on her car. Four at the front and four at the rear. All sensors have to be wired and connected to the computer. Let's check it. The car is approaching the orange cone. Can you hear? The closer to the cone the car is, the louder the Parktronic signal is. Do you understand, Handy? Take the cone off your head. Let's learn to park instead. You need to put the car between the two cones, listening to the Parktronic signals at the same time. Well done! Great work! Next time I'll teach him something else, thought Dr. McQueely. See you soon!